good evening friends welcome back to my channel in night trade my name is robin and let's do an fdm bank nifty analysis for tomorrow and also we'll have a look uh, on a overall bigger time frame to understand what we can expect uh, in the coming days uh, so i think before we jump into the analysis uh, i wanted to show you all like how bank nifty performed really well as per the analysis that we did on thursday night so people who have watched my video and who haven't watched my video so please just go and watch what did i say that day uh, because this is one of the price action analysis and see this is something which uh, no one will actually discuss in a youtube video okay uh, but i'm planning to make a separate video which i already mentioned that day uh, so what did i say in that video i said the market is following a bearish flag pattern okay and what did i tell you whenever the market is following something it will continue to follow and when it fails it is when we'll also stop following that so here there was a bearish flag pattern gave a breakdown here there was a bearish flag pattern gave a breakdown and what did we discuss on friday that again at so the, i'm sorry on thursday we discussed that the closing is again based on a bearish flag pattern so we said if we open flat or gap down then it will be a confirmation of bearish flag pattern breakdown and the market will continue to fall and that's what happened we opened flat we gave a breakdown retested it and then market came down and started consolidating here why it consolidated here if you remember i said the target as 42 230 we discussed this so that's where it consolidated and now here is the another uh, point of trade that you could have taken uh, that was let me just zoom in a little So this is a five minutes time frame, and the market made yet another bearish flag pattern here. Okay, so this was like a triangle pattern. So someone could have seen it as the ascending triangle. But forget the ascending triangle. Here the main important thing was bearish flag because we know that they are following bearish flag. So we need to follow bearish flag. So here they gave a breakdown. Okay, and then this was a follow through. and then see continuous fall and this continuous fall was basically we also did not have any level in between this let me just show you i'm just unhiding my lines see this was our support that we had 42236 when this support was broken there was no other line that i had until 41900 and this demand zone the market put con the news red candle and came to this place okay so this is how you analyze and uh, you know sir most of the times this analysis will give you superb money and now let's see what they are doing so after this fall again they formed a sharp bearish flag pattern okay they gave a breakdown okay do you see this and now after giving this breakdown like most of the time after the bearish flag pattern we saw a good fall but this time they just gave this fall and then immediately reversed that means now there is a point of reversal and now they may not follow the bearish flag pattern because prior to this nowhere we saw that there was a bearish flag pattern and the market reversed that did not happen but it has happened here this means that the market may take a halt so this is what i wanted to discuss based on the analysis video that i posted on thursday night and now we'll go back to our discussion on the higher time frame and understand how can we trade in the coming weeks and in the and on uh, monday that is tomorrow so this is nifty bank uh, this is nifty so let me just hide the view app
Okay, so what happened here? Uh, I'm discussing Nifty because uh, the discussion is going to be same for Nifty and Bank Nifty, but uh, for Nifty, I'm using Fibonacci levels because uh, we have an indication of a gap up opening tomorrow. So based on that, I want to discuss because we cannot anticipate how much gap up Bank Nifty will open. So based on Nifty, we could have some discussion. So what happened in Nifty? Uh, fell down, gave a bounce, fell down, gave a bounce, and now it is at this place. Okay. Here there are two things that should be observed. One is it has made a double bottom. Okay. This is like equal lows. Okay. It has made a double bottom. Hence the market is looking for a gap up tomorrow so double bottom here now what so after this particular fall okay this was our first pullback and now we have came back to the same level so now we do not know if the market will go like this or if the market will continue to go like this so before deciding that the market may take a halt for a, a day or two. Okay. So one or two days, it may take a halt before taking a decision. And if it still wants people to confuse, it may take the market a little higher. And then it will again come back here. The market may even spend time at this place. So we do not know that what is going to happen in the future. But at least we know that tomorrow, day after tomorrow, we are going to see that the market may consolidate a little. Because this is a decision making point either we take a reversal and go up and or we continue the fall okay, so this is what i want to discuss and in bank nifty also it is in the same formation but bank nifty's swing is really very different than nifty because nifty had a fall and now it is something like this but see bank nifty neckline is here so bank nifty is always something which does different uh, you know from nifty so here it went up and almost came to the similar point so again it may also consolidate because either it has to go up like this or it has to come down like this okay so now we'll look at the data and then we'll discuss the levels so i think in nifty uh, you can mark the fibonacci levels let me just unhide it uh, so there are two fib levels that i've marked one is from this swing which starts from 3rd of october 2022 to the all-time high on 1st of december 2022 so this gives you a set of levels and there is another set of levels so this is for basically for support okay and if you look at that uh nifty has halted exactly at 0 0.5 so that's why these levels are, uh, you know, a little important at times. And you mark another swing from this high to this low. This will give you the resistances that we will face, you know, if the market takes a U-turn from this place. Okay. So keep this levels marked. And there is another level marked. Uh, so if you see this, it says monthly fib uh, retracement level of 61% and 50% that I've marked from this place to the all-time high so i get these levels which is 17028 and 16589 okay so when we could get that level obviously if it continues to fall but for now in case if the fall needs to continue we have an immediate support at 0 0.618 which happens to be at 17565 so you just keep these levels in your mind you know like which swing I have marked for what, this will be really helpful when you trade. Okay, even if you like put it on a shorter time frame, this levels will look pretty decent. You know, it will respect all the levels. So whatever support and resistance, you know, lines that you use. So I have suggested mine in many of the videos. Like if you watched Dow Theory, I've discussed in different kind of support and level there. Uh, Fibonacci you can use so there are multiple you know support and resistance patterns that you can actually follow 
but what is more important here is see nothing is right or wrong but you should know how to trade a support and resistance that is what is more important okay so cool now let's quickly discuss uh, the data and then we'll jump into the plan for tomorrow so look at the data here uh fis have added more longs if you remember on thursday also they added more long uh, so again they have added more long but this time they have also added some shots okay this which i did not like it but anyways so this is like you know this position whatever they created it is you know like a nil you know they added long and they added short and it is net net it is still going to be a little bit bearish now if you look at options uh they are net long on call options about seventeen thousand. so this could be probably because they might have also anticipated a gap up opening so they have that but at the same time here the confusion is they have about one lakh ten thousand uh put long so this is because the market is bearish and it is at an important level like we discussed you know so here it could take a halt or it could continue the flow so they have put long also because, uh, you know they might have thought that if anything comes up during the weekend it might be a little bit of trouble for them so they carried that kind of positions but looks like after the gap up they might have some trouble in taking care of these positions and if you look at uh, pros they are net short on calls and slightly uh, long on put so we don't really care about this figure but overall they are short on call side okay so what is the take from the uh, participant data the so pros are bearish and fis are also bearish but fis do not have a call short is what is important so if they do not have a call short then in case if the market opens gap down pros will also book the position and fis will also book the position because if fis had call shots that means we could always have a faith that the resistance will be there so now i'm just going to show you the option chain once so not all the data we are looking at right now because then the video will become a little big so what is more important here is the put call ratio so for bank nifty it is trading at 0 0.51 and for nifty it is trading at 0 0.55 so both are near to their uh, over sold zone okay so that is also there so we need to be a little careful and we need to see the changes that happens in this PCR tomorrow. Okay. So what they'll do is from 0 0.51, they'll take it to say 0 0.66, 65, something like that in intraday. And then they'll again bring a fall. So this is basically like a pullback that they do and then they bring a fall. But what is more important here is at this place, uh, you know, if we look for a continuous sell off, then it could be an issue because they'll show some sign of reversal so around 0 0.5 0 0.48 and 47 you know, market uh, experiences profit booking so the short sellers may short cover their position a bit so we need to be a, a little careful here so this is what i wanted to show in the open chain now we'll get back to the chart and discuss all the levels that we can plan so firstly we'll put this on a five minutes time frame uh so on a five minutes time frame if you see market is planning a gap up opening okay so not sure because tomorrow morning things can change again but anyways we'll discuss what happens if it really opens gap up with a 150 point so nifty has closed at around 17 860 so this close around 17860 so plus 150 so it is going to open 17860 960 18010 okay this is what it is showing that the spot may open somewhere here and if it opens somewhere there we already have strong resistances at this place okay 
तो एटीन जीरो थ्री सेवन टू एटीन जीरो सेवन जीरो सो वॉट कुड बी द बेस्ट ट्रेड टू मोरो इज वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस नाउ ओके सो द बेस्ट ट्रेड कुड बी सिंस बोथ ऑफ देम आर बेरिश ओके सो बोथ ऑफ देम एफ आई आई एंड प्रो If at all Nifty opens at this place, you know, looking at a price action like this, or maybe a candle something like this, you know, you can mark the first fifteen minute candle uh, high low also to make or uh, to take confirmation. So at this place, definitely you need to buy a put. Okay, and where do we, uh, you know, book a profit? Definitely once it fills the gap. Okay. Because what I'm expecting is, if we are doing a gap up, we'll fill the gap, and the entire day the market can stay within this range. Uh, all that you know, the FIs would need is a exit window to book the puts that they have accumulated at this place. Okay, so they'll they might bring down sharply also, uh, so that you know, like the put premium increases uh, very fast, unlike the call premium. That will actually give them a Uh, exit window and they'll exit the positions. So this is what uh, we can expect in Nifty. A gap up around eighteen zero three seven to zero seven zero. We are going for a put trade and we can expect it to fill the gap. And the next thing is, uh, what if it doesn't open that much of gap up? Okay, then you need to see that there is a resistance here also. This happens to be around seventeen nine sixty. So say market is opening somewhere here, then also we can go for a put. Same thing. The target should be around eighteen thousand. Sorry, this is not eighteen thousand. It's seventeen thousand eight fifty. So a hundred point fall is something that we can expect here. And then we'll not hold puts anymore because the market may uh, consolidate and confuse us. So we, you can rely on the option chain data like. How these people are you know, changing over their position. So we discussed uh, gap up, a big gap up and a small gap up, flat opening. What you can do is you cannot do much here because this is also like a bearish flag pattern, and previously also they have followed the bearish flag pattern. Okay, so here also they followed. So if we open flat and we Breakdown, you know, once we close below eighteen, oh sorry, seventeen eight four zero, you can expect that Nifty can continue to go down for some more uh, points. So the next ultimate level would be somewhere around seventeen thousand seven hundred, and the zero point six one eight level we discussed that it is at seventeen five six eight. Okay. So it can continue to go down, and in case if it opens gap down also, then also this will be considered to be a bearish flag pattern. So you just wait for a slight pullback, and then you can go for a put, and you know you can trade seventeen seven hundred and seventeen five sixty eight also. So this is my view on Nifty for tomorrow. Let's quickly check out Bank Nifty. So Bank Nifty also will move to a smaller time frame. Activate all the lines. So in Bank Nifty, what we discussed is, uh, like now at this place, after making the bearish flag, now it has reversed. So we discussed that we Bank Nifty may not follow this pattern uh, tomorrow. So if it opens gap up, say it is opening around forty to five hundred, then. At this place, you can go for a put, and you know you need to book at around forty to two thirty, the same level that we discussed the other day. So here we'll book, and then we'll see what the market does because this is going to be a little bit of confusion place because it will come down and then take a halt. It might break the level and come down to this place, but we cannot be sure at this point uh, because we'll have to rely on the option chain at that time. Okay, because see, definitely there will be some uh, bull traders here, so we need to see if they are giving up their positions or not. Okay, and where do you actually go and 
uh, go long. So see, here we consolidated and gave a breakdown. So there is a possibility we may open somewhere here. If we fall back here again. We might consolidate a bit, and then we need to see if after this consolidation, are we planning to go up, or are we again breaking down? So if we break, so first time it did so much of consolidation. This time it may not do it like that. So we can again re-enter for this trade also. So we'll have to look at this place. What really is going to happen? And the second thing is, uh, about this level. Okay, so above this area the market can be a little bullish but it will be sideways to bullish you actually do not know how it will go but if we open at 42 400 500 so this is like if you open gap up and if we do not fill the gap and we enter into this place then you can think something like that but i don't think so it will give us such an easy opportunity then we could be bullish and we can expect bank nifty to slowly move higher but at this current situation like i said if we open gap up the first thing is that we are going to look at it is, is a dip okay this for the gap up uh, flat opening what do we do let it come to this place okay let it come to this particular range because we do not know what is going to happen next so if it is reversing after it closes something like this we take a put trade here, same, the target would be 41,900. Or if it is continue to get into this box, let it go, we'll short it somewhere at 42,500. But we definitely look at shorting opportunities here. If it opens flat and continues to go up. Okay. Uh, open flat is done. If we open gap down, uh, gap down, mostly both of them will book their positions okay so we may see this up move and then the market may consolidate for a while so that they empty their positions and then we need to see what kind of trade we get because either they may break out on the upside and it may go slowly or you may get a downfall again so at that time you need to look at the option chain to see if once we are at this place our uh, people selling for options more. If that happens, then the market can be in pressure the entire day on the downside. Then, you know, for every up move, you can actually go and buy a put and you'll make some money. That's how it should be. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So, flat opening we discussed, gap up we discussed, uh, gap down also we discussed. So, this is what you are making magnetically for tomorrow. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, I might record. Uh, education video tonight and let me see i'll do that thank you for watching let's meet in another video till then take care bye bye